Type 46 diesel locomotive number 46009 and three standard coaches were used to represent a typical passenger train. Dynamically speaking, more coaches would have made no difference to the force of the impact. On Tuesday, July the 17th, these were positioned eight and three quarter miles back from Old Dalby near a village called Ed Walton. The train was set in motion without a driver. Every inch of the journey was followed by cameras mounted in a helicopter and the train's speed was checked by engineers using radar guns. Eventually, it reached 100 miles an hour. And watched from a safe distance by some 1,500 invited guests, it ploughed headlong into the derailed flask and wagon. Thirty-two different cameras captured the scene from many different angles. impact test was complete, the experts checked the pressure inside and confirmed that there was no significant change. Crash scientists were able to reassure the public that manufacturers had built a container that could withstand the ultimate disaster.